Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making some homemade butter. Um, this is like the country style butter. It tastes really good with everything. You can use it to um, fry your eggs. You can just like put it with some jelly. It just tastes really good. So to make this butter, what I'm doing is I'm using some unsalted butter. Um, this is the sweet cream. You don't have to use this sweet cream as long as you get the unsalted butter version. So I've got some unsalted butter here. This is actually, this is what I used right here. You can see the package. So I'm using some unsalted butter. And here I have some of my homemade yogurt. Um, or you can use traditional yogurt, plain, um, plain yogurt you buy at the store. But I'm using my homemade yogurt here, which I'll link in the description below. So I'm doing two cups of yogurt and two sticks of butter. So I'm going to cut my butter, just cut it into tiny little pieces, they don't have to be too tiny. Cut your butter, and you put your butter in your blender, and then add the second stick. And into the blender, you add your yogurt. You blend everything together. So if you're just blending it, that's awesome. But if it's not, you can go ahead and add more, uh, um, add more yogurt. So I'm going to add another half a cup and see if that blends it a little bit better. So this is what I have after about three minutes of blending. Can you, can you see what it looks like? So... I'm going to go ahead and blend this up more for uh, four more minutes and then it turns out even better. So keep mixing it in between that way it doesn't get stuck but if it does get stuck you can add a little bit more yogurt as you go but if it's doing fine then you know it should still be good. And I found that my blender works best on the lowest setting so I'm just using the great option and that, that's doing really good. So now I'm looking at the top and I can tell that some of my butter at the very top looks like it's done so it floated to the top. So you can see, try to strain it out with a spoon, get all the water out or all the yogurt out. And what you get out is pure butter. So you just put that in, see if I can grab any more out. And I'm gonna let it work for another two minutes. And the more you take out, the easier your blender will be. And you guys, this butter, even if you have it with just bread, like bread and butter, it tastes really good. Can you see it? So. Okay, so I have some leftover, um, like the yogurt watery part. You want to take that part out. Go ahead and just pour it out. You don't want to use this. And you want to put your butter back in. Try to grab the top is. Make sure you like if there's any water in the bottom, like that. See, try not to grab that. I have a big bowl. This is about three cups of ice water. There's ice inside, and you want to put that inside with the yogurt, and you blend that up for about another few minutes. So after about three minutes of blending. 
Okay. You're gonna have more butter, but and your butter now is gonna be a little bit more crumbly, which is good. So this is what it looks like now. Just make sure you strain it. See, it's a lot more. Like you can literally hold it. This is what you're looking for. So make sure you strain it out. Just strain it. And this here is what you want to keep. And you do that. You get keep mixing. Every few minutes you take the top portion off. And just blend it up again. So in about another half minute of blending. So you blend every half a minute. You take more out. So I have more. So I have more. The very top. Very top. Yep, the very top. Very is what you want to grab. So strain. And you do this for all the rest that you have. So what I have left here now is the buttermilk, which is the Shanina part. Um, so this part, I'm going to leave it so that the family can drink it later. So I'm going to go ahead and strain it out. There's barely any, barely any butter left in here. So you strain this whole thing out. And whatever butter you have left, you just add to the rest. All right, so I've strained all my butter out and here we have some really beautiful shanina or buttermilk. So see how nice that is? And it does taste really good. It's like a sweeter tasting um, buttermilk but it still has a little bit of sourness to it. And here we have the butter itself. So my butter, I'm gonna actually um, freeze half and leave half in the fridge. You can leave this in your fridge for up to two, two weeks, I would say, um, but it's best to freeze it. That way you can use it anytime all year long for a few years, it doesn't go bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you do have any, um, questions or if you have any special recipes that you'd like me to make um, please comment down below or you can um, send me a message also please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos